Hello friends and welcome back to the tutorial of Python for the beginners. My name is Ashish Saini and in today's session we will continue with the rest of the topics for your objects and classes. Like in a previous session we have already discussed that how to create an object, right? So we will continue with the objects and classes and let's see what else we can do with the objects and classes. But before moving further, let's see what are the topics that we are going to cover in our today's session. So let's have a short recap for all the things that we will cover in our today's session. So these are the topics that we will cover in our today's session. Now let's move further and see how we can do that. So understanding the objects and classes. Now let's go to the program. So this is the program which we have created in our last session. Now let's continue with this and see what else we can do with that. Like here you can see we have created a class and inside that class we have used the magic method which will be called every time you will create a new object, right? Like here you can see when you have created a new object, it has called this magic method, which is saying constructor created, right? So similarly, we have used the further methods, which is inside this object and we have seen how it works. Now let's move further and see what are the other methods inside that. Now when you know that how to create an object, let's see how you can further modify your object. Now, firstly, let's see what are the attributes that your object A is having. So for that, you are having one function has attr, which is for your attribute. Now just open the bracket and inside that bracket, just pass the object name, like my object name is A. And inside this, I want to check that whether there is any attribute named age or not like for that I have to write age now just close the bracket and press enter so your answer is false that means there is no such attributes with the name age now let's try it with some other attribute now just pass the object name and here just pass quantity Just close the bracket and press enter. See this time you got the output as true. That means the quantity attribute is already inside your object. So it is showing you like that. Now let's move further and see what value this quantity is containing. So for that you are having another function which is get attribute a comma. Just close the bracket and press enter. So the value contained by this quantity is 5 right which we have passed here so this is the way how you can call that value now if you want to change this value like right now you are having the value of quantity as 5 now if in case you want to change the value of quantity to let's say 3 so in that case you are having another method which is set attribute just open the bracket a comma inside that bracket you have to pass comma just after this quantity you have to write the value for your attribute so i want to set it as three now just close the bracket and press enter now this time if you will check for your value for your quantity let's see what you will get see what's the output the output is three that means by using this command you have changed the value of your quantity right so this is the way how you can do that now if in case your quantity attribute is not of any use to you and you want to delete it right so in that case how to do that so for that you're having one another function which is del attribute and inside that packet just pass the object name comma like i do not want to use the quantity anymore and even i don't want to keep it now just close this and press enter now let's see whether I'm having the attribute as quantity or not. See what output you got false. That means your quantity attribute is no more inside your object. So if you will check for this value, maybe you will get some error. Let's see. 
let's try it with get attribute as well what happens attribute error means fruit object has no attribute quantity so that's why you have to use this commands to check the values to update the value and to set the values so this is the way how you can do that now let's move further and try something else so in the previous session what we have done we have just created a magic method to build an object and now we will use another magic method to just destroy that created object right like here we have just created that object now if in case we want to destroy that object so let's see how to do that right so for that i will just copy and paste this so just copy this and after that just paste it here and after that we have to create one more method and in that method what we will do is we will just use another magic method and you know how to create a method by using def now just write double underscore del double underscore which is a magic method to destroy your object open the bracket and inside that bracket just pass self colon press enter now just write a message for that open the bracket and inside that bracket just pass object destroyed close the bracket and press enter so what you have done is you have created a magic method to destroy your object that you have created so in case you want to destroy your object that you have created you are going to use this magic method or you can say you are going to call this magic method to destroy your class right now press enter so it will create a class for you now again create that object so for that let's take obj is equals to fruit open the bracket and inside that bracket just pass the fruit name like let's say orange this time comma the quantity for that let's take 6 press enter so your constructor is created right so this is the way how you can create that and after that when you want to delete that or you can say when you want to destroy your object in that case you have to use it in a different way right so for that let's write del space now just write obj and press enter so you can see when you have written this command del obj it has just deleted your object or you can say it has just destroyed your object which you have just created and when you are destroying this object at that time a message is being called and that message is called from this method which you have created here right so in short when you will destroy your object this message will be called here right so this is the way how you can destroy your object so this is it for your today session now let's have a short summary for all the things that we have covered in our today session so what we have done here is we have just seen what we have done in our previous session and after that we have just used the different commands or you can say the different functions to just check whether that attribute is inside that object or not whether that object is having some value or not and if it is having that value you want to check that what value it is containing so in that case you have just used get attr and after that if in case you want to change the value of your attribute in that case you can use the set attribute function to just use that and if in case that attribute is not of any use to you you want to delete that so for that you are having one another function which is del attr which is for your delete attribute so in that case you have used this syntax and after that when you are done with this you have created a new class in that case you have just used the magic method which will be used to destroy your object so for that you have just used double underscore del double underscore which is being used to just destroy your object so after that we have seen how it works when you will just delete that object when you will destroy that object at that time a message will be called or you can say all the function all the commands that is inside your this magic method will be called on this operation right 
So this is it for your today's session. I hope you have understood all the things very clearly. And if in case you are still having some doubt, then just leave a comment in the comment section so that I can clear all your doubts at the earliest. Now, if you have liked this video, then please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, then please click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any of my videos related to any of the topics that you want to learn in your Python. So thanks for your watching and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.